Wana Baba wedu wali kumusoro kudenga. Tino kutenda hii Jehova. Nekuti imimi murimungari. Uye tino kutenda hii ni haanya za muinazo nesu. Tiko kutenda hii ni ruduru. Maka turatiza. Sema na venyu kutipinza mkatime gwera. Tiko kutenda hii kwenye tu. Taa kupinda mkatime shoko renyu. Tishidi sana ni kuruzina na kuna mata. Tukumia Jehova. Mwere kerenze venyu kwa tiri. Shukuru mnye menu temo yedu. Mwede didi se kuna mata. Mwastara jesu tinuna mata. Amen. Sangano rese pastorese general. Iko zunezi, tinimu program ye 10 days of prayer. Sangano rega rega pariri. Chisine kutuwale kunyika kupi, mwuri yega yega pariri. Munu ega ega anokuru zero wa utaite rupanero wake panyaya ii. Yekuna mata. Kusiliba kuti ndo pega hapa tofano nga dishina mata pa 10 days izi. Asi. Trukuru zira kutivanu, vave ninguwa, yekuna mata, mkati megurelese. Sesangano pasrese tenderele, our major theme of emphasis for these five years is I will go. This is our mission, this is our mission matching order or theme, I will go. Mun ega ega has a charge to do his or her honest part. Kutibasaramu hari, eteke zekufiru maku edu. Now, takata sana ni mission emphasis iyo iyo, mission thrust iyo iyo. Pa 10 days of prayers is a tina zo izi. Takata sana ni three angels message. Says wa hiri. It is given in the book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 6 to 12. Key text yedu ya tino shanda na yo. Mkatime masho ku aya. Mkatime metim i. Mkatime mission emphasis i. Ya zwa kazara wa 14 verse 6 to 12. Nanti batiriza kuti iti simbisa na utizivisa uti mngari anunja kichi ingu batiri. Nguwe ya tina yo ishoma. We are running out of time. Because our time is short. The church, the church cannot afford to live without the prayer. Ellen White in the book of Great Controversy, chapter 32, she says, no man is safe for a day or an hour without the prayer. Therefore, batiri se sanganu. We have a mandate. Kuti, whilst we need to make disciples and preparing people for the second coming of Jesus, we need to be prayerful. And with that in mind, let's learn from the experience of Christ's disciples. Luke chapter 11, verse 1. Luke chapter 11, verse 1. We want to learn from the experience of disciples. Luke chapter 11 verse 1, the Bible says, Now it came to pass, as he was praying in a certain place, when he seized that one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John also taught his disciples, After Jesus had prayed for a certain time, it appears some of his disciples, instead of participating with Jesus in prayer, they watched him until he was done praying. And then they came to him and asked him, Teacher or Master, teach us to pray. If I were Jesus, I could have said, why were you watching while I was praying? You were supposed to have also joined me. But Jesus being Jesus, he did not answer him like that. Instead, Jesus had to go on and taught him how to pray. This is where we are given the model prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name, and so on and so forth. That prayer was given in response to a request. Teach us 
how to pray. My major concern on this text is not so much what Jesus responded. As we usually or normally do, we focus on Christ's response on offering the model prayer. Today, I am not so much going to focus on that. But I want to focus on the motive of this request. The disciples said to Jesus, teach us to pray as John the Baptist teaches his disciples. The motive of learning how to pray here, it is not so much for spiritual edification as it were. It is not so much for the sake of advancing mission. It, is, it has nothing to do with making disciples. It, is, it has nothing to do to grow closer to God. It has nothing to do with self-spiritual enrichment. But the motive appears to be more competitive than anything else. And when we, are, when we are praying, even during these 10 days of prayer, it's not an issue of competing one with the other. It is not an issue of comparing. Here the disciples asked, teach us how to pray, as John the Baptist is teaching his disciples. In other words, when this is what Jesus was born and born, when this is what Jesus was born and born, you fungwa yao yangu yego tinga zokunua. It appears John and his disciples are becoming more and more prayer warriors than us. If there may be some privileges to be given or to be gained from prayer, ah, John and his, 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 his disciples are going to gain more than us. So in the mindset of this disciple, there was the idea of competition. Lest they gain preeminence than us. So he asked Christ, Christ, teach us how to pray. As John also teaches his disciples. But not this day I could For these 10 days. We are not competing with each other. This is not an area where competition is needed. This is not an issue of uh, uh, competing or also uh, comparison. Prayer is an issue of spiritual nourishment, spiritual growth. Disciples are asking, they were looking at John's disciples as a better privileged than they. Let me ask you a question. Considering the 12 disciples of Jesus, who worked with Jesus, who ate with Jesus, who spent more of their time with Jesus, and John's disciples, who were more privileged than the other, who were supposed to be requesting favor, open eminence than the other. In this case, Jesus' disciples are thinking John's disciples are better placed than they. Yet, they were walking with Jesus. They ate with Jesus. They slept together where Christ slept, they too also slept. Whatever Christ would do, they, it was theirs. By virtue of proximity, they would spend more time with him. They were working closer to him. In actual fact, if you are going to consider the book of Matthew, regarding the same experience or a similar experience, Matthew chapter 9, 9 verse 14, John's disciples, they too were concerned. They realized Christ's disciples were better privileged than they. And yet Christ's disciples are thinking John's disciples are better privileged than they. It is not an issue of competition. Let's look at Matthew chapter 9, verse 14. The Bible says, Then the disciples of John came to him, referring to Jesus, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often? But your disciples do not fast. 
In other words, John's disciples come to Jesus after watching him together with his disciples and they realize that more often than not, they being the disciples of John, together with their master and all the Pharisees, and the Pharisees, as it were, they had to fast more often than Christ's disciples. And they were envying to say, hey, we wish if we were Christ's disciples, they don't fast like us. And I was to them, in as much as they were doing it, it was more of a burden. They are always required and expected and invited and encouraged to fast. So they are asking Jesus, how come it appears we, John's disciples, together with the Pharisees, we fast often than your disciples. In actual fact, your disciples, the twelve, they do not even fast than us or like us. At this point, I'm not so much interested in the answer. But I want to look at these two groups. Jesus' disciples and John's disciples. Both camps are envying each other unknowingly. Christ's disciples are saying John's disciples are better off because they are taught how to pray. They fast often, so they are better than us. On the other hand, John's disciples are also saying, are envying that, oh, if only we were Christ's disciples, they aren't even required to fast. They just leave with their master. No fasting. If only we were Christ's disciples. So each group was envying the other group. compare. Yes, let's encourage one another, but let's not compete in praying. is to seek a better relationship with each one of us as individuals, as a family, as a church. But one of the how come I don't want to look and to consider and to, to, to get into the inquiry. But this was John. Jesus. I'm not sure. I don't know. And I'm not interested in that. But there is a group right there. a group right there. But the I'm not going to do it. I'm going to I am not sure, and I am not interested in this church. For now, I am interested in this lesson. Nyaya kuna mata, aizi nyaya kutraga kuti. Ari kukundo mwe ndopi, ndi ari kukunani ndopi kukundo mwe. Te siti diwa nyanga diwa, nuncha kanyasha kuna mwari. Kandriku dhize kuna mata, ngari dhize kuna mata. Kuti, tiwa ne ukama wakanaka na mwari. Tiwa ne simba, reko shumira. Disciples are Jesus. In this time and age, the church of God cannot afford to live for a day or an hour without the prayer. Not so much because of fear of what will befall on us, but so much because of what we desire to accomplish before Christ 
comes. Washinji tunona mata. Nekuda kwa mata mzigo, akati mirira, akati wira, akati wira, akati wira, nekuda kwa fie, ya tina yopa mata mzigo, nekuda kwa wira. Iko sinesu, kuna da mzigo, reche tuvereche COVID. Sometimes, for fear of being infected, we pray more often. Kwa mwetu tukuru wari wako dara, na jimwe zirezo, kasi ya nasi ya some chronic diseases or illnesses. Na kuna mwetu tukuru wari wa, we frequent on our knees, seeking divine intervention. Not so much because this is our life for still, but because we fear to lose our loved ones. Mungari chari kutraga. Azivan, wano na matanyo da kuchika uti tingango zofiri, wakano uti tingango zofa, kawa tingango zoperele, wa aa, mungari ari kutraga wana wano na mata, kutitive ne ukama wakana kana ye. Vai garana jesu, vai swira nae, vai vena yungwa zose vai jika nae. Yet they ask the question. He said it is the same way. What is the same way? What is the same John, what is the same way? What is the same way? What is the same way? Jesus, you want me to teach you how to pray. I want to teach you how to The text is saying, they saw, him watch, they saw him praying. They waited until he was done praying. Instead of joining him in prayer, they waited until he was, uh, he was done in, in, in prayer. And then they inquired, teach us how to pray like John. Does to his disciples. Just as moon says, I'm not rough, I'm not going to do He's not crude like us. Why am I not going to do it? Why am I not going to do it? More often than not, he would also fast, and so on and so forth. But they didn't want to participate with him. But they wanted, they wanted lessons on the prayer. Issue at ten but Pamazua ten ayah. During these ten days of prayer, our major emphasis is not so much a lesson on prayer. It is an attitude of emptying self before God. It's an attitude of self-submission to God. That during the year 2022, may God's will be done in our life as it is done in heaven. During these 10 days of prayer, let's present ourselves as the vessels that are willing both to spend and to be spent for the advancement of God's cause. More than as competing or competitors against each other. But in God, 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 as far as fulfilling mission is concerned, that is making the herbals and preparing people for the second coming of Jesus. But it's what John, one of Vunza. Yes, so. Ngei, what it's when you mean was in Ghana, Matt. Isus no Pharisee to not sign Jesus. But when you have a tiny, can I go to Matt? Ngei was my prayer band members. Ngei was my prayer warriors like us. They were envying Christ's disciples because they had no burden to fast. While on the other hand, Christ's disciples were also envying John's disciples because they were taught how to pray and how to fast. Whilst you may be thinking someone is better than you, think on how close you are to Jesus. Shungu Zako Nenyo tayakwe kuna mata. Ngai sawe kuti ukunde wala ningi, kandu ukunde wala mwano, kandu uwe urinane ukunde wala mwano. Aa, ngai vee kuti umbe ukama wakana kana mungari. Wakate ndi wuka heri. Na mungari mnu uzivana heri. Basa na mungari la wakapi otu uyiti, rumo wako maku, raka chingitika heri. During the year 2022, to what, to what extent are you going to advance mission? Maru dega ngati basiri. Ati tirezo kanaka. 
the three angels message is it is safe in your hands as you pray during these 10 days of prayer our mission mandate is enshrined in Matthew 28 verse 18 to 20 Revelation chapter 14 verse 6 to 12 where we find the three angels message we want to pray mission mandate verse 18 to 20 mission mandate 14 verse 6 to 12 kanti kana babylon Tigone kugadzirira kusangana nemwe nekuti nguva yekutonga kwenye shika tigone kuchika mwari nekuna mata iyi akasike denga nenyika namatsime emvura nezvese zvimukati mazvo muna mata wako ngawe kuti mwari mukati megore rino ra2022 ndipe simba rekungo chikaimbedzi sachike vano kana zvinovire nyika ndichike mimi nekuna mata imimi moga makasike denga nenyika namakungwa namatsime emvura nekuti nguva yenyu yekutonga yashika Tibude mkatime Babylon. All forms of evil influence that may be threatening the spiritual fabric of the church. You need to pray more in order to ensure that your spirituality is contained and safeguarded. Kana utinga na mata. Ne ukuruzile na guna mata. Haezi nyaya kukombita. Let me emphasize on that one. It's not about competition. It's not about comparison. But our motive during these 10 days of prayer may it be Mngari, make me a better vessel. Make me a better instrument. Make me a polished instrument for the work before me in the year 2022. Mngari, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Ore shukudawa ngo afanana naye na iyo adoti ah uyo atori nani kukunde ini just like what these two groups of disciples were doing wa ari kufunga kuti ari nani panyaya zvekuna mata who knows he may he or she may be anything you too so it's not about competition we are all sinners in need of grace we need the prayer power no man is safe for a day or an hour without the prayer at this point in time I want to invite you to wenengwe kuna mata. Tikumbire mwari ati pesimbare kuna mata. For a long time we have been learning many lessons about the prayer. We have been talking about the prayer. We have been discussing about the prayer. But at this point, we instead of talking, discussing, teaching each other about the prayer, we want to pray. So, I want to invite you to wenengwe kuna mata. Ngati na mata. Baba wedu wari kumusoro kudenga. Tuda kutenda ipa nguwa yenu yikuna mate ya matipa. Makaita ina gore idra rama katipa. Ati zili zili mga timaru. It is our prayer at this point. Lord, that may, may you prepare us to be better vessels that you will use for the year 2022 and beyond. To prepare people for your second coming. To prepare people for your second coming. Our desire is to be better instruments that we may become Faithful stewards of the world. Prepare us to be candidates of heaven. 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 Prepare us to to be Help us to learn from you. Not to compete with one another. For these 10 days, Tibatsiri to Mgaripa, no pera, Tingita, attend the Varinan Bamberi Pen. Tinoshua Wukonai, Kanamua and Birma Kurti, they say, Quen a right motive, Pakunamat. Kungabe Kutsanya, they say, Quen a right motive, Pakutsanya Quedu. Quet a good chagu, go, 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 Uyu ndio mna mate wedu, mwastara jesu ishi wedu tunu na mate, amen. Mwari ude nga ngati batsiri, ati komborele, isha aditre zwa kanaka during these 10 days and even beyond. God bless you. Oh,
哭。